What's going on YouTube? Today we are going to make facial expressions. We're going to have like a little morph dial so that you can just slide that dial back and forth and <clears throat> just like they do when they when you get a facial expression off of the dash store. It's going to be the same exact type setup. So first things first, you need to create a folder. I got mine right here. Uh, well, it's my created games, but I don't here I'll move I'll move it over here uh where you at I just had it here it is my created my created assets there we go so bam there's my folder right so click on the content library and click on this button right here and it will display more options so now we go to content directory manager and you click on that and you go to your Daz Studio format right here and you click on it and you add. So once you hit the add button, now it will say, well, where do you where do you want this? And you do the desktop, my created assets. All right. And it's just that simple. Now, what this does is when we save this later on, it'll save it to your desktop. And the purpose of this is when you try to share this with other people they can install it into their their data and runtime or whatever else is needed and they can use it too it won't just be limited to you if you just save it into your own DAS library it won't work for everyone else I don't I don't know why or whatever I don't know the down and dirty with it but I know you have to do it on your desktop I got it to work so bam all right so now that being said, let's get to actually making the facial expression. What I do is I start out with a base model. This is a Genesis 8.1 model. 8 can work the same as 8.1. Uh, just note that there are <clears throat> different settings between the two. So if you make 8.1 models, it's not going to work in 8. And if you make 8, it's not going to work in 8.1. Yeah, I know about the weird little hack or whatever but I always stick to the 8.1 they just they just look better in my opinion the 8.1 expressions are just better so another thing you're also gonna note with the expressions when we're making this is they are going to look like really dull it's not gonna look that intense very mild but it changes based from character to character uh, when I was first started uh, started to do this I made some expressions and had it at 100% on this model and when I would use it on other models I would use that same exact expression at like 40 or 50 percent each model is slightly different but whatever all right so let's get to it the thing that I use when I am making expressions is I will go straight to poses pose control head and another note if you want to share these you have to use base things that come with just dash right so basically what i'm going to use is vismi's nose mouth eyes cheek and jaw and brow right these there are no added things in in these for me right i'm not you can do these with these expressions if they're just for you, you can use these expressions, but they won't work for other people unless it is part of the base Daz stuff. So I am going to start out with an angry face, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is, let's see, let's, let's start with the nose and we're going to do like a, mm, a snare. So kind of crunches the face up, right? So let's do about, let's do about 80 on this and then... The next thing is when you get angry, your brows go down. So let's go ahead and bring the brows down. Let's just let's just keep it about I'll do like 90 on that. And you want to go a little bit extreme on on these just because each model is different, right? Some might need more or might need less. So you kind of want to go a little bit too far. It's better to have too much than not enough, right? Cuz you can always dial it down. I mean, you could dial it up too, but I won't get into that. So now we got 
we got her looking a little bit angry. Um, let's take the mouth and we're gonna give give her just a a little bit of a of, of a frown, not too much. And then we're going to let's do a little. No, I don't. I don't even think I want very much funnel. Maybe like a ten percent funnel. And then and then I'm gonna press it. So where are you at? Let's do a mouth press and then kind of like bring in her mouth. That looks pretty good. Now I also use power pose as well. So we go into this and we go to face, right? Now if you do not have this, which if you just loaded it up or you're learning, you probably do not have power pose. So it is up in the windows, panes, and then uh, power pose right here. And you can just drag that, click it, whatever, and then dock it to the side or whatnot. But I like using this as well because you can get a little bit more out of it. Like the nose here, I'm going to bring up and what it does is it moves this nose. I'll go ahead and click over that. And then um, this right here, I'm going to bring down a little bit. And you can kind of see this part right here starting to go downward. And it just gives it like a little fine tweak. So I'm going to bring the cheeks up a little bit. Just like so. To make it look a little angrier. And then I'm going to take these brows. Let's bring them I'm going to bring the out ones up a little and then I will bring these two down more. Kind of like, what are you doing? So let's go ahead and bring that down. Let's bring that down. And then another thing that I like to do is bring these over to give that crease. When you, when you, when you bring them over, it puts a crease right here. You can kind of see them in this. And sometimes I add a little bit too much. <clears throat> but... I like that crease. It can really bring out the character's expression. And then I bring, I'll bring this one down. Now she's starting to look a little angry. Right here by the nose, I'll bring it up a little bit. Like so. And let's go back over here. I forgot to do one. So let's go into poses. Where you at? Oh, right here. Click. Now let's go to eyes squint yeah there we go how do i forget the most important one squint all right so we got about a got about a 70 percent on a on a squint i think i am i think i'm happy with this one um I, yeah i think i think i'm pretty pretty happy with it yeah all right so that's good all right so we got the facial expression that we want right so now, how do we turn it into a morph bar? So first thing, we go to the parameters tab, right? Uh, click your whole Genesis character. And then what we do is we right click and, and choose edit mode, right? Now I already have morphs started on this. I just gotta, I just gotta find them. So right about here. Here's my created morphs that I have already. And I got these on any character. And I'll, I'll show you how to do that. It's just going to be after we go through all these steps and processes. So let's see. I already have an angry one and an angry two. So I can create a property. So create new property. And it brings up this window right here right so you can name it whatever you want so mine is going to be ss angry three since i already have the other two it'll automatically fill out the label if you if you, you can change it if you want um and here's the path so you can put the path as whatever you want inside the genesis but everyone that creates these expressions throw it in the actual expression like expression 8.1 right that's just kind of like the the thing everyone does so i stick with tradition so i have uh the model expression 8.1 then i have my name right here sacred sage sacred sage and then the name of this file which would be angry 3 you don't have to add angry 3 angry 3 would be put on afterwards so i don't have to mess with that at all um Right here, type none. We want to change that to modifier pose. And then here you can change the color. 
which my angries are the red one and I do not have that color on this computer oh ah, it's, I don't even know what color that is oh that's gonna irritate me because I'm gonna have two different colors um well fooey I guess I'll just choose this red instead and it will just I can change you can go back and change these at any time so I can go find whatever color that is and come back but anyways um, right here at the minimum what this does is allow where the sliding bar starts and stops so we want that at zero so zero will bring the character model face back to its original pose so we put that at zero max is one and then we hit create bam so now we have angry three right here but watch when we slide it nothing happens right so what we want to do is we want to put this all the way at 100 percent all the way right and now we right click ERC freeze click node 8.1 female yep property angry three yep now we want to change this right here so click on that and we want to select the node and we go down to the head and what this does is it will only save oops god darn it it will only save the properties of the head Ooh. it's been a minute since I made one of these let's see neck there we go head <clears throat> now here are all the properties that I changed within the head quite a bit so now what we do is we just hit accept bam so now when we take this give it a second uh oh I don't know why it took so long anyways now when we take this morph look back to normal back to angry and Whoop, whoop. anywhere anywhere in between I think I messed up on that's what it was it's these clothing that's what it was that is so weird I've never had that happen before I had to put clothing on for the YouTube video <laughs> but um, alright so this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna do it Well, anyways, I'm going to do it again because I do not like the fact that it did not work how it should have intended. So let us go ahead and delete property. I figured that was going to happen. So I am going to run through really quickly and just get a really nice angry face. And I am also going to delete this damn clothing. Those um, more, so I know what went wrong and I should have should have realized what went wrong when it happened <clears throat> it was when I saved the things and I, I will show you when I do this and that's that's something you know you're always learning at this stuff you're always learning all right so posing uh, face let's see I actually remember most of the settings I already had at my so brow was about 90 I didn't even mess with the cheek <clears throat> Give it just a tiny bit of a frown, probably about 15. No sneer was at 80. <clears throat> and then we had a little bit of a funnel. And then we pressed it. I think I gave her too much funnel. Alright, now we do the squint. There we go. A little too much. Power pose. This one ain't going to be as good as the other one. I can already see differences in it.
<clears throat> but that's okay. I think I moved about all of these. Once you learn how to do this, it goes actually fairly quickly. So that'll that'll have to do for now. And now I will go back to the parameters, click back on them, create property. <clears throat> I'll take a shortcut bam great shortcut there we go Whoop. there's the red red and modifier pose change this to zero create angry Oop. angry three Freeze, bam, node, accept, and see how long it did not take? It barely took any time at all. So what it did was it saved the settings of the clothing. So I should have realized that and understood that. And not included that so yeah so problem solved and there there is the morph all right so now we got the morph going how do we get this to other people so what you do is you go to file uh, save as supported assets morph assets click um, Asset directory, vendor name, sacred sage, and product name. I'll just put uh, sacred sage expression collection, and then you click what you want to save. So it's in the it's in Genesis one. We go to morphs. Oop, wrong one. Pose control. My bad. Head, expression one, and then you go down to, this is me, it's wherever you saved it as, but this is where I store all of mine, and here's my sacred sage, and I click on that one, and it will save all of the expressions that I have, and then you just click accept. And now, my created assets, and you can see, here's the data and the people. So data, sacred say, ooh, Daz, Genesis 8, female, morphs, sacred sage, expressions, and here's all the expressions. So if you want to hand this to somebody to use or whatever, all you do is you just make a another folder and let's say let's just call it contents and you take both this and this and you just paste it in here zip bloop bam and then you can just give that to whoever and they can throw it in their folder and it will work just fine. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry about that mess up. These types of things happen. If you did, hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Take care.